freely available technology has made it such that it is now totally possible to have a highly accurate scan of your head using just your phone or camera. Preferably, you stay perfectly still while you ask your friend to take multiple pictures of you from various angles. However, if that is not possible, you can do it the way I'm doing right here. Take a video while you orbit the camera or phone around yourself. Just make sure that your expression and head angle stays the same. You may be concerned that it might not be possible to stay perfectly still like a statue. Don't worry, you do your best. The software will compensate for minute errors, but you should stay as still as you possibly can. If you do it my way and record a video of yourself, you will later have to extract still frames from the video. The same rule applies to both methods. 1. You need to make sure that the pictures are as sharp as possible. The background may be blurred, but you as the subject must be in focus. No blurring, no shaking. 2. Please have at least 50 pictures. The more the better, but again, make sure that you are in focus and not blurred. Next, you want to download this free program called Meshroom. The link is in the description below. Make sure you download the correct one for your operating system. Open the program, drag all your pictures into this box and click Start. Now you can go out for a walk, or have a meal, or meditate, or sleep while the software does its magic. The length of time it will take depends on your graphic card's capability. On one of my older laptops, it took 2 days. On my current laptop, it took 45 minutes or less. When it is done, a 3D model will be generated on the right for you to inspect. But what you really want to do is to find out where the file is. Click on this note to find out where the 3D OBJ file is within your computer. Congratulations! Now you have a 3D model of your head at your current age to preserve for posterity. You may close the video now if all you wanted is a 3D scan of your head as we are now going to cover how to clean up the scan model for 3D printing and or more. This part of the video requires intermediate Blender skills. After importing your model into Blender, you may start the retopolization process. Create a cube, go to edit mode, and while in vertex mode, select all, Press M and select Collapse to reduce it all into a single point. Turn Snap on here and match the settings. Now you just have to move and extrude the points by pressing E around your scan model. To add more points between two existing points, select the two points, right click and choose Subdivide to add more points. And you just keep on doing it. To form the eventual polygons, which is what we are really after, select any four points and press F. And now you just keep on doing this. To find out how best to lay out the polygons, do a search on face topology and pick one that agrees with the amount of time you are willing to put into this process as the more dense the wireframe are, the longer it will take for you to finish laying them out. To merge any two points together, select the first point and shift select the second point. Press M and select at last. For the back of the head, you will have to go into scup mode and do a little scup of your own to compensate for the lack of scanned data because 3D scanning don't usually work well with hair. Fortunately, the back of the head is simple so we are not missing too much details here. Drag out a cylinder and scup it to compensate for the neck if necessary. I didn't spend too much time doing this because the scanned data must take priority over any accidental artistry that happens when one is sculpting. Now we just continue the process. I don't want to spend too much time on the year so I import in a year I have purchased from a 3D model store. The eyeball is just a spear. I model the inside of the mouth so that the mouth can be animated but if you are going to use the model solely for 3D printing, this step is unnecessary. Scub this part of the eye for extra detail. I have giggly add in basic eyelashes, again not necessary for 3D printing, I'm just doing it for giggle since it only took a few minutes. With a cleaned up model, you may send this to a 3D printer. There is no need to bother with color since full color 3D print isn't that widely available yet. As and when full color 3D printers become widely available, 
Transferring the colors from your 3D scan to your cleanup model is simply a matter of texture projection. But we will cross that bridge when full color 3D printer come forth and is within affordable range. This is Brazo Jack and I will see you next week.